here it is. Finally, it's finished. It runs, and uh, I'll show it to you in a little more detail in just a moment. Twin cylinder, in line, double acting, oscillating valve engine. It's uh, the same basic uh, porting as my uh, V twin engine, and uh, but it has a bigger flywheel. The cylinders are in line, and as you can see, the plumbing is my golly how it's much much simpler uh, because all the fancy stuff is done by drilling inside this central upright. But here we are. This is on the output end, a little half universal uh, joint, the throttle valve which is reversing, steam or compressed air inlet, outlet, the exhaust up there, and little spring pressure points using a eighth ball bearing to hold the cylinders against the central upright and they have adjustment there. In fact, I found that the adjust adjustment has to be fairly carefully done, but generally now it's very, very free. It's, uh, it's turned out to be a nice little engine and uh, I had to cut it. Well, I didn't have to. I planned it that way. I cut away the base so that I could big, put a bigger flywheel in and uh, Anyway, generally, I'm very pleased with it. The only very difficult part, of course, was uh, making sure that the crankshaft, uh, the pins, and the uh, actual crankshaft pieces all ran concentrically. And uh, as you've already seen uh, with my correction video, I messed up, I made some well, I forgot to realize that uh, the shaft, when you look this direction, if it's going clockwise from that direction, it's going anti-clockwise. I didn't want the cylinders to try to move them in the shaft in opposite directions. And well, what I really needed to do is have it just do that. They had to move in opposite directions, although the shaft itself rotates the same way. But anyway, I corrected that mistake, there it is, it's, I'm very pleased with it and uh, we'll show you it running before too long. Here it is running at last, I'm making a slight adjustment to the throttle reversing valve, bringing it to the middle, slows down, stops, right over to the other side, to full speed ahead, at the moment it runs very slightly faster in this direction because I have to make a permanent small adjustment which involves uh, uh, disassembling the uh, throttle valve and making a permanent uh, adjustment to the position, relative position of the valve drum with the actuating lever that I'm touching now at the moment. And, uh, but that has to be done later. It does hang up occasionally, slightly, and this is because uh, the faces of the cylinders need to be bedded down just a little bit more against the centre upright. And also, although I can't feel it when I rotate the engine by hand, it seems quite uh, steady and you, you can see it starting and stopping, starting and stopping quite uh, easily there but uh, there must be some small uh, old resistance somewhere, I can't see where it is but it will probably again wear out as the engine runs in and uh, develops uh, its, uh, it, it, its proper freedom to turn and it becomes running. You have to do this with virtually any small engine, or any, any engine at all, you run your car engine in. Or at least you should do, you should go too fast until you've done a few thousand miles. But anyway, here it is, it's 
running, it's operating very nicely and I, at this point, I'm very happy with it. Here's another view and uh, you can see the crankshaft and the lower end of the cylinders and the flywheel and we're reducing the speed again now, speeding it up and now it's going to change again slightly the view. Going again, reversing, starting. It's a pity that the frame rate gives such a difficult uh, idea of the true speed. Sometimes it seems to be going around in the opposite direction, but then we're stuck with that frame rate, rate so what can we do about it? Anyway, here we are. It's uh, running. I'm very pleased with it. We'll get another, just a little different view of it. Edge on. You can see the crankshaft flywheel. And uh, again, I'm changing the speed slightly, reducing it. And, uh, and there's the little... Oh, I zoomed in here, which if you've been watching before, you've seen the little universal coupling at the end of the crankshaft. But there we are. Uh, I'm pleased. I hope you liked it. And uh, there.